morning, 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 morning. Um, as you may have seen from my Surfing 26th Avenue video, my uh, fin, my my fin box. So how do you say that? Fin box. Plug. Fin plug thingy. Uh, from my surfboard that I learned on has broken off from Surfing 26th Avenue since it is like a beach break type thing. I'm actually going to be switching boards now uh, because, well, we could just repair that and I could keep her surfing, uh, keeps on surfing that, but uh, it was time for me to kind of switch to a shorter board a little bit. So I'm switching to this, uh, we call it the Takayama because I believe that's like the company owner. That's the guy who shaped it. That's the guy who shaped it. Mr. Takayama thingy majiggy. Um, and I believe this is a 6'4, that was a 6'10, so that's a huge board and this is a less huge board. Um, Six four by what again? By something. I'll put it on the screen maybe. Boom. There you go. Um, and I'm gonna be switching to that. But the problem is with this is that that happened. I don't know if you can see it if the camera would focus. That uh, little ding thing. So we need we need to repair that. Uh, so I'm gonna be uh, setting up this surfboard and repairing the ding. My dad's gonna help me and stuff. And yeah, that's gonna be this video. Hope you enjoy. Yee! So, before we start the uh, ding repair for right here, I need to take the uh, lease off. So, uh, time lapse. Okay, so we got the surfboard set up on the sawhorses. And for the ding on the back, we're going to use this ding repair uh, set on the board. Uh, ding all polyester repair kit standard ultra clear from the O'Neill surf shop $14.95 so uh, we like to do things ourselves so we just buy the custom stuff and just, instead of paying like 50 bucks for a repair at some surf shop so we got it ready we're gonna start on it soon thought I'd give you a close-up of our ding here it's pretty bad but uh, we're about to fix it so you ready to start then? <laughs> So I'm kind of a material, I save the materials to the point where it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> so I'm using re a recycled can out of the, out of our basically trash, our recycle bin. Kirkland Signature. <laughs> and I put three drops of Catalyst in and about one quarter ounce of polyester resin. I'm mixing it up thoroughly inside here. I don't need much resin for these tiny little dings. Generally, we have to put a lot more on. This doesn't, this isn't gonna take much. A brush would be great. I don't have a brush. So I'm gonna just try to just lay it on with a popsicle stick. Oh, I dropped it on my deck. <laughs> Is kicking off and um, it's hardening nicely. Hardening nicely, and we're just about finished with the ding repair. But wait, there's more. We still need to put on our leash and wax the board up. And I'm gonna do a nice wax job with the lines and everything. At least I'll try. <laughs> Thank you, though. I'll now, before we get into the waxing, here are the dimensions. They're soup the dimensions. They're super faint, but uh, I'll try to translate it to you. So it's six four. Um, 20 by 5, 6 by 2 and 7 eighths, maybe. I don't quite know because it's super faint on the last one. But 2 and something uh, thick. So yeah, there's the dimensions of the board. This is 6'4". Uh, now that the resin is dry on the tail, it is all finished and beautiful. Uh, we're going to wax it up. And I have a special wax today. These guys are called Huevos Wax. And um, they are super cool. They, I don't know if you can see it or not, but one bar of wax equals one gallon, one gallon of clean drinking water. So pretty much they go places like around the world, like they have a YouTube channel, and uh, they went to Mexico, gave some kids uh, some water, 
clean water and stuff because they have problems with that in Mexico and also in Africa they did that all the way in Africa which is super sick so they bring filters to them and clean water so they are wax company with a purpose so I'm gonna use them first uh, start with the base coat of course I'm gonna do uh, the line technique where you um, you start drawing lines pretty much that's that's all there really is to it so we're gonna go from here up to about like right here Sound good? See, I'm going to start. So first I'm going to draw the outline. melting Bam! Um, I just skipped that whole other uh, waxing part because I thought you guys see enough uh, waxing but I still need to do the little circles around it but my dad had a great idea since uh, I don't want to put a track pad on the score because it's original he told me that we could just put like a line of wax right in the middle and I should be able to feel with my foot uh, where the track pad is or where it's supposed to be but instead it's just wax so um, yeah I'm just gonna have a this Is the finished product of the surfboard 
Um, this is my makeshift uh, tra track pad. <laughs> and um, that's about it. Here's the wax job on my surfboard. And we have one last thing to do. For the last element of this video, uh, put this away. we have our leash to put on. Classic black leash. I believe it's eight foot. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna put it on. The normal thingy. And then we have our leash and our complete board with the dings repaired and everything. So, really? huge shout out over here to my dad uh, who was helping me in this video. Thanks, daddy. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so, yeah, how's the board look? Hopefully, it looks pretty good. Uh, we'll go over it to show you the complete everything. Complete everything. <laughs> Again, of course, he helped a lot and he corrected me on things I didn't know so I never take the videos and all that stuff. So thanks to him and uh, thank, you, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe if you want to, if you like my content. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you for the next <laughs> Peace out! I'm gonna yell a little time. Peace out! God bless! Oh. Peace out! God bless! Bye!